you've been bitten by a dog, you should know that in Georgia there are two primary ways to prove that the dog owner should be held liable to you to pay your damages, to pay that, that is your medical bills, your pain and suffering, uh, compensation if you have a, a scar or a nerve injury. And those two primary ways are uh, what used to be, what we used to call the one free bite rule. It's really, in Georgia, it's an aggressive dog standard. And that is, if you can prove that that dog had acted in an aggressive manner, it had uh, aggressively snarled or growled in such a way that it was actually threatening. Now, this requires more than just general barking and making a lot of noise, but actually behaving in a, in a threatening manner as if the dog is going to bite someone. And then that dog uh, does bite someone. The owner may be liable under that circumstance. The other way to prove liability is a lot more straightforward and one situation that we see more commonly, in fact, and that is that if the dog owner um, carelessly managed the dog, and there's uh, a general way of proving that if your city, your county, ha or county has uh, a leash law or an ordinance that requires the dog to be kept leashed or to be restrained and the dog escapes, you are not controlling the dog and if the dog then gets loose and bites someone, the dog owner is generally responsible. That's a pretty straightforward way of proving these cases and one that we rely on heavily in our practice. My name is Bruce Miller and I'm the senior partner at Miller & Mixon. We handle a lot of dog bite cases. If you or a family member has been injured in a dog bite or a dog attack, give us a call. We'll talk to you on the phone about your case immediately. We may be able to help you.